What's up guys? Welcome to the next episode of Carful. In this episode, we will talk about the new generations of PTZ security cameras. Stay tuned. Here the unboxing. This black box wasn't sealed as you can see, but the outer box was sealed very well. On top we have the manual and some stickers. There is the camera itself, the power supply and the Wi-Fi antenna. Then there is the network cable, UTP cable, some screws and some tools to hang it on the wall, some very handy tools. This option I find very useful. It's an iron block that you screw on the wall first and then the, the foot itself can um, shift over it. Here is the compartment for the memory card. A very useful sticker to put on the wall to make the holes for the screws. When you open the beholder for the memory card, there's only one downside. You can't find uh, how to put it in. With the pins up or down, there's no sign, so you have to figure it out, and this is the way to do it. So, we connected the internet cable, the UTP cable, to the camera, and also to the modem, the internet modem. Then, the power cable is plugged in also and after this I will have to put on the power I will have to put this in there but I'm going to wait for a moment so I uh, keep the camera in my hand and then I'm going to put the power on it so it can do its thing and you have to wait what it does. So you see it is starting to initialize. Now it's turning. So we're waiting. We're waiting for it to finish. I hear some activity still. I don't know what it is doing now. So it's finished at this point.
I already I already downloaded the software of Citronix on my iPad and now I'm going to see if it can find the second camera so we click on add camera search camera from LAN I can see it there done and it is online and here we are now I take the camera in my hand and you see it is already recognized in the software and it does what it has to do and here it is against the wall as you can see I fixed the cables and the connectors all in a waterproof box and then uh, they connected with the cable that came through the wall from inside this is the interface via Internet Explorer when you type in the IP address of the camera on top of the Internet Explorer, you come to this interface. The pan speed of the camera is adjustable, but uh, the fastest speed is still very slow to my opinion. It could be a little bit faster. This here is the highest speed and there's some work to do for those guys at the highest the highest speed you, you just count to submit it. So every time you come to this screen you have to go to the um, to the properties again and take and change the, the speed time and time over again. For the rest it is one of the best cameras in this price range I've ever seen. The zoom uh, four times zoom is really impressive and the quality of the image is outstanding. You can go to the memory card and you can see all the files, the photos and the films right there to grab. Here you can capture a photo or record a scene and save it locally. With the playback button you can reach all your files to play and your photos locally or on the memory card. the ability to record with or without sound as you can hear here. You can make a lot of preset points for the camera to turn to and you can save them by clicking on the submit button that will do its job this time well. Depending on the need for internet speed you can change the video quality as well.
can also add more cameras and look at them at the same time but they have to be from the same brand or at least compatible with this system. Now there's the session of the settings. Media settings. All the video qualities and the bit rates and so on that you can change. OSD set, you can put the time on the screen, camera name, and you can change the name as well. Click on apply to save it. Then we have the image settings, the brightness, contrast, and all those things. You can flip or mirror the screen, illuminate, infrared control. You can put the infrared on or off or auto and apply to save it as well. Then audio. If you want to record audio or not, all the settings are here and also apply to save the settings. The volume input. And the network settings, fixed IP address or not, and all those good stuff. You can change it to wireless or not. Show the IP address and so on. Put on the OMVIF, you can see the server port. And the alarm settings. Very important the alarm settings. Motion detection as well. You have different zones with the sensitivity that you can all um, change. And those work very well with this camera. I have to say it. If, you, if there is an alarm, save it on the SD card as a picture and as a video as an SD, on the SD card too. And when, uh, which days of the week you would have to uh, work the alarm. Timer record. Every day is adjustable, every hour is adjustable. First stream or second stream, the video quality, you can change it all. Apply to save it. Email address to have the notification, FTP address. Multiple settings, that's for uh, more than one camera. You can do a land search and there are the cameras and you can put them in the system. Video shade is if you want to blind out some parts of the screen. All these possibilities, all these possibilities are in this system. Time, you can change the time or sync with the PC time. You 
initialize, reboot the system if it is necessary. Device information if you need it. And then you can reach the, in the memory card. You can browse it if, um, via this uh, screen here. You can format the card, unplug it, all those good stuff. System log, if you want some information for the things that happened in the past. Then we have the desktop program itself. We start it up here. Take some time. Here it is. And here we see the two cameras. And this is the last one of the Tronics. All the possibilities of the PTZ. Never give a password here. Always leave it blank. The band speed. And turn the camera left to right, up and down. Zoom in. All those things we saw. All those things we saw before. We can do it with this program. Very easy to. It really is an outstanding camera. The quality of the image is really outstanding. In this price range, it is really ex exceptional. So you can change the video quality of every camera depending on the internet speed that you have or that you need. High quality now seems a lot better. You can also change the focus of the lens, but leave it on autofocus and that works fantastic. There's a possibility for all the presets, you can change the image, appearance, contrast and so on. Playback button. Settings. So we are the settings. Parameter settings. The alarm settings. change the alarm sensitivity you can change to save a picture or to save a video on the card you can schedule it all week or every day
ID card to record to record every day, every hour. Systems network time protocol and so on. All those good stuff that you can do Wi-Fi also that you can do with the interface of Internet Explorer also. Parameter settings. Recording man management. The days, the times, for every camera. Schedule. User management, change passwords. Format of the of the image. It's the playback um, of the and the arms that are recorded on the SD card with or without the sound all the videos that are recorded on the SD card this is where the sound And here we go back to the live video and quit the program. So it's a wrap for this episode. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, do it in the contents below. Again, there is a lot of new content in the making. So turn on your post notifications and share this video if you like it. So that's it for now guys and I will see you very soon.